BOMA is another example of vendors who will contact you. Uh, sometimes they'll just drop in, grab mm -hmm. your business card at the reception desk and call mm -hmm. you up and mm -hmm. say I was in your building the other day. And What would trigger a change would be, um, you know, if, if, if the services aren't what we would expect and what we'd want to deliver to our tenants. Mm -hmm. um, is it done in a first class fashion? Uh, are we getting complaints from tenants about any of the uh, you know, maintenance issues or any of the day-to-day -day issues um, that we contract with these people uh, and these organizations to provide. I've had a lot of, a lot of contractors who I think, I mean, I, I will keep and I'll, I'll fight tooth and nail to keep them only because they, they do go above and beyond. Yeah. If they've screwed something up and I'll, and I'll say to them, well, what happened? What happened with this? They won't charge me for it. They'll go back. They'll fix it. Mm -hmm. um, most of my, I have to say, most of my contractors are like that. The buck stops with me. Let's talk about cleanliness for, for, for mm -hmm. a minute. Sure. Where do you put the restrooms and the common areas on the hierarchy of the building image? Um, probably, I, I put up real high. I don't know if I'd put it number one, but it is pretty high because it's used a lot. And it's, you know, I can't control people and their cleanliness, but I can control sending someone to get clean. So there are some floors in our building that has a high volume of traffic that are probably serviced more than some others. I know that they're the, the top. <laughs> they're the top. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, we have um, soap, uh, hand sanitizers in the lobby at okay. each elevator bank. Okay. So during the flu epidemic last couple years, that they, especially two years ago, I think it was, um, we thought it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. People are obviously looking to go to the touchless. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, if, you could, if I could get something to open the door without them touching the handle, that'd probably be the next thing. I've seen so much green stuff the last few years that it all kind of just melts together. A lot of it to me isn't proven and the, the payback time isn't uh, kind of worthwhile. I mean, we try to do what we can green-wise, but uh, the tenants care about it, but ultimately I don't think they really care about it. And especially if it's going to cost them more money, they certainly don't care about it. We had reservations for a while about green products because, you know, they always have a reputation of being not as effective. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so we said, let's give it a shot, let's try. Didn't tell the tenants, see what they say. If they notice, like, hey, it doesn't seem as clean or you know, mm -hmm. maybe these stains aren't coming out of my carpet as well. Mm -hmm. um, and we didn't really hear a whole lot of feedback. And then when we published to them that we did transition to a green cleaning, um, and you know, it's already been in place for a, a few months, and mm -hmm. um, it was very successful that way. So, see, in, in my buildings, that's not. It's it's good to market. Uh, I have a recyclable product with green. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's what the tenant wants. Mm -hmm. and if the tenant is used to X and we're delivering Y, and there's no true true advantage, we can't we can't sell this. Green is a very popular word um, in lead. Uh, um, I've we've had renewing tenants and outside tenants ask us what we do as far as lead. Mm -hmm. um, you know, trying to educate the ownership group and get them to commit to the expense to lead certify the property is just a task that I haven't been able to accomplish yet. Mm -hmm. Now people don't like change too much. So it's like, if it's already there, you know, you could change it to something, hey man, where are my hand towels, you know? Uh, so, or vice versa. I, I don't really have a reason for not liking dryers other than um, my own personal experience, which is my hands usually never get dry. In a first class office, even if you have those jets, you still need some kind of paper towel in there. Yeah. You're not going to get rid of it entirely. Right. Okay. So, so, so it doesn't bother. All right. So, that's well, what well, in addition to having to do all the electrical and all that fun stuff, putting in those blowers and retrofitting them in the bathrooms, which would have cost a fortune. Right. That's one of our biggest complaints. And now they went from these multi things to, you know, those turn things that you and yeah. then tear off those things. Yeah. They suck. I I'm telling you why. Because when you pull that thing down, then pieces come off. Pieces come off. And then 
the place where you're pulling down the the dispenser, it littered with little pieces of oh. of um, paper towel. And just met some really charismatic, wonderful people, and worked with them on, you know, large tenant buildouts, you know, and on smaller projects. I just really like working. The tenant makeup has always been different at every right. building, depending. Sure. But I enjoy working with out with them. Yeah, it's a very big, busy building. Mm -hmm. uh, we're we have two very, you know, high caliber tenants uh, that you want to keep happy.